is this my first video on my first channel? Um, on this channel, I'm going to be talking about reptiles and lizards. Um, a specific lizard, actually. Um, the alligator lizard. I, I'm currently, I currently, I'm caring for one. And I just discovered this, these five tips and tricks. And I just wanted to share them with you guys. Okay, so number one is handling. Okay, this can be really hard and very complicated. But if you want to make it easy and efficient without your alligator lizard biting you, yeah, just just do this, all right? Because their bite does hurt, and yeah, it hurts a lot. So, so you wanna um open first open the cage, like look around. Try not to freak them out, right? So I see him in this little cave over here. So I'll just take this out, and you see he's already a little freaked out. So, so I don't wanna go in front of him. So I'll go a little around the back and with these three fingers. I'll grab him like this, pinch him almost, and get these two fingers under, and then when I have him, I put him in my palm like this. See, he's already trying to jump, he's trying to run. I just hold my hands like this with space for his, all of his little fingers, right? So I just hold him like this, and he can't go anywhere, literally. So if, yeah, that's how you're gonna hold him if you want um, him to not jump out or bite you okay next tip number two is just gonna be feeding um, if you, um, do they are actually um, they only eat insects actually these alligator lizards so do not try to feed them any fruit or plant they do not they're not herbivores in any way so they just eat insects like um, these mealworms here they eat um, roaches spiders slugs silkworms any type of worm um i do not recommend finding bugs from outside because those can carry viruses and um and that can get them sick a, a lot so just just always buy them and this is how you're gonna feed them after you take them out like so you just um first you wanna if you're feeding them mealworms just give them like two like three to four a day because they need a lot of nutrition so you see, he sees it, and mm, doesn't look like he's going for it. So, so yeah, just don't force it, and don't make him eat it, eat a bunch. All right, because then that may get him sick if he. Okay, we it. Okay, guys, you see it's cr like crawling down his body. So, yeah, he's like not caring. So, obviously, I can't force him. Just have to wait another time to feed him. So, just always try to feed him constantly. But, wait, let me put this bug back. Oh, wait, you're going to reason. All right. Um, um, I wouldn't really um, necessarily try any other way other than putting a, a separate dish in his enclosure. But you just don't want them to climb out of the dish, which would be bad. So, right. I'm going to start over. Okay, guys, so tip number three, which is going to be the UVB light. That is very important for his health, and he's going to get a lot of vitamin, vitamins for that, and he needs those. So just you just always want to have that UVB light. It's very crucial to him. So that kind of simulates the sun in a way because it's kind of like um, it's heat, too. So that's what makes it a UVB light, the heat from it. So... Yeah, so that's what you want to have as his light source. Next thing is going to probably be um, the stuff in the enclosure. So you see I have um, the light, and which is very important again. I have a couple sticks and logs around, and I have this leaf. You want those in there. You definitely want those in there for them to hide under, and you want the leaves and the dirt. Just mix those, and that would be good for them. You also want little pieces of bark along the sides if you can from the crawl over. That would be good. You can see I have the little cave. He likes to hide in that. I think he feels it's reassuring to him. He feels secure in there. Sometimes I'll put little stuff in there. But um, most of the time it's just empty. So you just want to have all that stuff in there. Yeah, so that's really good for him. So next... Tip five, which is going to be the tank. 
Um, you're going to want at least a 10 gallon tank for this little guy. Um, for this size, it when they, they get up to 7 inches, so if you want, um, you should probably get a tank up to, like, 30 gallons, actually, because they you, you just want them to have a lot of, um, free roaming and a lot of, uh, space. So, so, this is a 10 gallon, and I got it for, um, not that much, actually. I got it for, like, really cheap for the light and everything. So, um... Yeah, so you okay, guys? That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And just um, every time you subscribe, a koala, a baby koala is born. And just God bless you. And um, have a good rest of your day. All right, so yeah, that's it.